All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you have here is a 2000 Land Rover Discovery. It's a bit of an amalgam. It has the perfect amount of luxury. Well, this key doesn't work. And utility. I have to get the other key because this key fob is just a spare. Yep, this was purchased at Land Rover Glen Cove on Cedar Swamp Road way back in the year 2000. All right, so this time I actually found the key that worked. There it is. starts right up. The rear headrest is a bit of an inconvenience because it's right in your line of sight and this was created way before rear view cameras. A trick that people normally do in order to increase their rearward visibility in a Land Rover Discovery from this generation, even if nobody's sitting in the back, the center armrest does come down but normally what people do is they lower that center armrest so you have a little bit more visibility going towards the back, even though that visibility is interrupted or obstructed by that uh, rear tire. And it actually has a cup holder back here. All right, so this Land Rover Discovery to me is one of the greatest cars that Land Rover has built in the modern era because of its high level of refinement and its high level of reliability. This car, this specific example of Discovery is finished in Kent Green, which was a, what you would consider today a paint to sample because not a lot of people would ever get this car in such a wild color. Pangea Green is the modern equivalent to this uh, paint sample. And to me, this is one of the iconic colors because it sort of meshes well with the trees and to me, it stands out a little bit better than the rest of the colors that were available during this time period. And I think it makes for an excellent Florida car. It does need a bit of a wash, but I'll take care of that now that I'm here in Florida, just for a few days. You can hear the landscapers in the distance. But yeah, this discovery definitely has been well-maintained. And of course you have a few modifications that I spoke about in previous videos. You have the 16 inch wheel option. Uh, this particular model does not have the ACE cornering enhancement. This is the ACE cornering enhancement. Not an air suspension, but it's actually a way to automatically adjust the sway bars in the back. It doesn't really do that. As some of you may know, the original Land Rover came with plastic rear bumpers. But if you look closely on this one, you have steel bumpers. This was definitely one of the better modifications to make on this vehicle because it just makes it a little bit more durable. And if there's anybody coming from the rear trying to tailgate you, you can brake test them. and they will have to suffer the consequences of having a damaged front end. Not a good way to be, especially here in Florida where people tend to try to get you to speed up. But as you know, a Land Rover Discovery with a four liter V8 engine is very, very slow. These things are not that fast. So if you have the ability to follow one of these cars, just know that the zero to 60 time is somewhere north of 10 seconds. These things were not very athletic. They did have a lot of torque, which makes for excellent off-road capability. But a thing that you will really find entertaining is the original Discovery Series 2 catalog. This has never left this map pocket here in the back, any of the storage pockets. It's been there since the beginning. I've never actually taken it out. I've always uh, just looked at it and it's interesting to read what the original literature that came from the factory, you know, like all the things that they were advertising at the time, that's actually a great color. Just looking through this catalog, it's a marvel to talk about the things that they were, that they seemed very advanced for the time. And this car did come with a cassette deck and this car has the ACE cornering enhancement because it has the, it has the uh, 18 inch wheel package. This is one of the factory colors that 
definitely attracted my parents and like we want that color because it looks really cool many different seat configurations and here are all the color options seeing this today is actually quite cool because what car from Land Rover do you see with a cloth upholstery interior that would have been really cool to have in the grand scheme of things Here are all the color options. Kent Green being the number one option for me. Yeah, Epsom Green, very great Oxford Blue. Chaughton White, Niagara Gray, Alveston Red. Kinversand, I've never actually seen one of these in real life. I have to look on Bring a Trailer later to see if that actually exists. And Rutland Red. These were the options of colors that you had back in the year 2000. It's amazing stuff and it's back you go. All right, so I am driving the Land Rover Discovery here in South Florida. Traffic conditions are a lot different than those you would find in New York City. Traffic laws are also different, especially within a gated community where you have a little bit of uh, freedom in order to get from point A to point B. But as with all Land Rover products, they drive extremely well whenever they want to behave. In this case, everything seems to be working. The engine management system seems to be working well since this car just came in from service. Because with all Land Rover products, you just have to be a little bit more cautious than you would with something like a Japanese car. But the cachet of the Land Rover brand, as well as the heritage and its evolution from Jeep, has allowed this car to become one of the legendary nameplates that has lasted throughout the test of time. Many newcomers have come into play, such as Bentley and Rolls-Royce, with their luxury SUV variants, but the Land Rover brand has existed since the 1950s and has continued to exist as that utilitarian mark of excellence, especially in the British scene. So enjoy this drive as I continue on with the Land Rover. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video of me and the Land Rover Discovery. I look forward to making more videos back in New York because this is the end of my trip. But I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and have a great one.